YouTube world, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, a few years ago, pre YouTube, or pre me doing YouTube, I turned a carol singer snowman for my daughter and wife, I can't remember who it was, and they liked it so much. Put it on uh, Facebook, said how clever my dad is, husband, and once it got out there, um, I was absolutely inundated with people wanting a carol singing snowman. Uh, and I have to be honest, by the time I finished, I was sick to death of turning these things. But it was about five, six years ago, so I got it in my system. Um, so I thought I'd do one for you, because they do look quite cute. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off, I've got this piece of beach. I'm not sure what it was when I picked it up, but it has got that lovely dark mottling running through it, which is quite, uh, quite a classic sign of beach. And also, it's got beach written down the side of it. If it looks like beach and it sounds like beach, it probably is beach. So that's what I'm going to use to turn the carol singing snowman. So hang around, watch what I do. So the first thing I want to do is get that between centres and I'll turn the tenon on one end and then just knock the corners off. So you can see here, I'm just taking this down. I'm using my spindle roughing gauge and I'm just taking it down to round. Just taking all the corners off. You see every now and again I just run my chisel across the top of the wood and that just lets me know that it's round because if the chisel bounces then I know I've still got flat on there. So I've just gone in there now with my parting off chisel and that's just giving me the rim for its hat. And because my snowman's really posh he's got a top hat. So I went through, I wanted the hat to flare out but not quite so much as that. So now I'm just using my spindle gauge here and just taking it down. Just gone in again with my parting off tool and this has just gone in to mark the neck. And now I'm just forming the head of the snowman. The great thing about snowmen is they don't come in any sh definitive shapes and sizes. So whatever your snowman looks like is generally right. So again, just using my parting off tool just coming in marking the bottom just give me an index point for the bottom of my snowman and now I'm just forming its main body sometimes I do this in three so it'll have legs a body and a head but this one's just got a main body and a head just showing you my chisel there I give that a long grind and then I take the shoulder of the chisel away and that allows me to get right down into those small places. It's a lot easier, I find, than using a uh, skew chisel to go in there. It's brilliant. So we've got the hat, head, body. What I need to do now is just sand that down. And that is finished. Apart from the headband. Okay, I'll just carry on working my way through the grits and saying that will write down. So what I want to do, as it's the top hat, I just want to give him a hat band. So I'm just a marker. Line in there, line in there. Drawing a couple of lines. Just very quickly sand out because that does kick up a burr. What I'm going to do now is just apply a permanent marker. Leave that for a couple of minutes let that dry. While that's dry, I'm going to apply some sand and sealer to there. That's really nice. Right, let's 
stand there. Stand there, see if wax is all finished. So it's all nicely polished, all finished down. Lovely finish to that beach. Really tactile that water is. Beautiful grain running through there. So all that's left for me to do now is just part that off. So snowman's and sit down on that edge. So obviously when I go with my partner off tool, I want to come at an angle like that so that it sits down on right down on that area rim. So all I'm left with is that small nub on there. I'll just put that on the sander, sand that off. I swapped out my 50mm chuck for my needle jewels and it's another piece of beach and what I'm going to do is go through now and just turn two arms. Because I'm turning so small I need to get a bit more speed into it. Just use my skew chisel just to make some peeling cuts across the top. You do get when you use that, you get an incredible finish off of there. I mean, you could go straight to sand and sealer and wax on that, that's so smooth. As I said, these are going to be the arms, so they want to be about 40 mil long. The last time I did these, I did several, and I knew exactly how long the arms and everything I had to make. Um, so these are a bit of an approximation. I'm hoping they're on the long side, and if I need to be, I'm just sanding down on the sander. So I'm going to cut these into four pieces now, and start to put them together. So this is my snowman, and that are my arms. So, first thing I need to do is sand that down slightly so that that arm I can glue onto there and the same on that one. So I'll just set them over onto the sander and just sand a small flat on both of those. So literally, it's all I've done, just sand a little flat on there and then that will glue like that. What I want to do, because I've got a I've got that circle on there that almost looks like a start of a face already. So I'm going to put the eyes and nose on there and then the mouth to go under there. So I need to make sure I get the arms on there and there, like that. So those are my other two arms. So what I now want to do is sand that and that at an angle. So that arm comes off there and then that arm. You see that's stop getting my hands out of the way. That will come in there like that. The other thing I've done, I've been over onto the bandsaw, I've cut a small square of wood and i put a little cut down through there. Now what I'm going to do is sand that up and just make that into a little songbook as these are carol singing snowmen. They should have a little hymn sheet in front of them. So I'll just put that on the sander and just sand that into a book. That's just my book. Literally, I just sanded all the edges off and turned it in and that will sit just there in the hands. Right, let's get to glue up then. This is a big assembly, so we start off with, as I said, I think that's quite, that's almost, to me that's almost the start of a face there. First thing I'm going to do is just drill a couple of eyes in there. Two eyes, 
And then I'm just going to go in there in between that with the nose. All I'm going to use for those um, eyes are these model makers pins and just glue them in place. So just drop a little bit of super glue in that hole and a little bit in that hole. Drop that one in there. What sort of snowman would he be with that carrot for a nose? Which I think is one of the funniest jokes ever. Two snowmen stood in the field, one said to the other, Can you smell carrots? And it's funny. Don't matter how many times I say that to my wife, she still doesn't laugh. I can only assume she got no sense of humour. So that's very good. That's the face all done. Quite pleased with that. And now for the arms and the songbook. So as I said, all that's left for me to do is just to glue these arms together and just glue them onto the snowman. So I've started off. I've cut these, I don't know, it's not 45 degrees, 90 degrees, I'm not sure what angle that is, really quite often when you get to this stage it's uh, just a matter of trial and error really, just to make it, make it fit, do make whatever looks right, so I said my two snowmen are going to come around, the arms are going to sit on there, just to hold that book, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put both those arms, just give them a bit of strength on the side. I am going to use a bit of dowel for these. So just drill into the snowman and just put a short piece in. There's not, you can't go very deep into those arms, um, but it is just enough just to hold it in place. So I've just marked where I think they want to be. Just drill the holes in the snowman. Just drilling the arms and just cutting my piece of dowel. These dowels are pieces of bamboo, they're um, I think they're barbecue sticks. I think that's what they're sold for in a lot of the cheap shops you can buy these. Big packet, very little money. But they do make ideal dowels for a lot of work you do. So really it's just a matter now of uh, having a little fiddle, a little fettle, just trying to get it right into the right place. So I'm quite happy with that first arm, position of it and everything, so I'm just gluing it in place. The dowels do help you there when you uh, just trying to hold it. So I do now, I'm just trying to work this round to get the second one in the right place. That's always a little bit harder trying to work that one out. Because you have to get it the right height, the right way around its body, so it's pretty much symmetrical with the other arm. And again, it's just a matter of tinkering till you get it in the right place. So I'm quite happy with that now. I think we've got them pretty much all the same, looking pretty good. So we can now go for the glue up. So uh, just dropping a little bit of glue in there, just make sure the uh, dowel stays in place. A little bit of glue on the arm. Make sure that's level with the other arm, so that holds the book in the right place. Just put a little bit of activator on there, just to get it set. All that's left to do now is just glue the book in place. So just offering that, put a little bit of glue on. Put the book on, bit of activator. 
Job done. Now, carol singing snowman wouldn't be a carol singing snowman unless he could actually sing carols. So the next thing I'll do is use my biography tool and I'm just going to burn a myth. Which does seem rather cruel. This is the biography tool I'm just using there. So I'm just gradually working that round in a circle. Just to give the impression that he is actually singing. I'm sure if you listen carefully, you can almost hear Good King Wenceslas coming out of there. Well, there we go, YouTubers. One carol singing snowman. A carrot for a nose. Something a little bit different. Something a little bit festive. Hope you enjoyed that project. Because I had good fun making that one. You take care of yourself. And I'll see you all again next week. Bye bye.